that's just normal treasure. I guess we'll take it. So one thing I don't need right now is more money. <laughs> I got plenty of it. Too bad I didn't have that problem in real life, huh? Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to find ourselves a plane's home. And so I've been on a little bit of a journey. I'll open up the map here and show you uh, where I'm quite a ways to the north. Uh, actually, more like northwest. You know, of, of the center of the map here, and I sailed up uh, this way found a plains area here that was, you know, a potential candidate, but then kept going north and found the mistlands here. And I actually put, uh, well, actually, no, I think it's right here that I put a portal down uh, and then sailed here and found this plains, which is, as you, as you can see, right next to mistlands. So if we have a decent amount of resources in this plains location, this may be the place that we end up building our plains base. So the first thing I'm going to do before anything else is let's go ahead and build a uh, a portal here. It looks like I'm going to need to get some wood for a crafting bench. That way if we get killed or something we can get back here easily. I hear another fueling over there. Okay, that's enough wood to make a workbench. And we'll just pop it down on this little island here. I think that's the right word. Yeah. The NO is for north. Or the N rather is for north and then OG base is what all that means. Alright. Let's uh here and just make sure that, well it looks like a boat's in good shape okay so let's do some exploring around here and just kind of scope the place out and see if this is a good candidate for us to build our base there's another fueling yeah he's right here let's probably get my shield out feathers too. Oh, there's a... Oh, shit. There's a tar place over there, so that's good to know. So that's one of the resources we will need. Let's see if we can get this guy with a bow. Nope. He saw us right at the last moment there. Okay, good. So we have um, we have tar. Damn it, Jim. I don't really want to go <clears throat> into the mislens proper until we have a little more substantial setup here. But the nice thing about this biome is, of course, it's right next to the mislens. How far do we got to go to? Oh, I don't know what the sound of that was, but it sounded bigger than a normal fueling. It was, it's not a, what is that? Is that a shaman? It's not a berserker, because berserkers make a lot scarier noise than that. Yeah, I think it was a shaman. Come here, you little pecker head. Okay, well, yeah, let's just stay away from the going into the mislands for the moment and just scope out the, the planes and make sure it's got all the stuff we need here. Oh, that was a little slow on that. OK, 
Okay. There's one of those, looks like maybe stone hinge places or something up that way. I'm going to refresh my food. Now's a good time to do that. It's kind of a little weird terrain glitch there. That line. But I just want to get a sense for how large this plains biome is, because if it's if it's a tiny, then it's not going to give us a whole lot to work with, and it looks like it is kind of small. There are there's another tar pit though, and one village with a berserker. And it looks like there's some crops down there, too. Even though I have all the crops now that I need. Alright, let's go check out over this way. There are a couple locks spawns, so that's good. Are you? Oh, I didn't think those guys would attack me unprovoked. I guess they do. Alright, there's a big... Berserker over a couple berserkers it looks like over there So let's just just avoid the locks for now If we can if they let us avoid them <laughs> Seriously, dude You can get the fuck out of here Leave me alone, you big meanie. I didn't even do nothing to you. Yet. Okay, so we got another village. I mean, I, I think... I think this biome has pretty much everything we need, and it's right next to the Mistlands. It's not super large, but we could make it work. He still seems aggravated. He asked for it. I wasn't going to mess with him. Okay, so I think uh, I think we're going to go with this place since it has two villages, the Stonehenge thing, looks like three tar pits, locks of spawn here, and it's next to the Mistland, so it just checks a lot of boxes. Uh, so now the next question is where do we actually want to build? I kind of like this area down here in this grove. It's kind of nice. Um, and we could, you know, it's right down by the water too, so we could do a little dock out this way. So that's one possibility. Let's look around for another couple options. Uh, living up on, on the hill, you know, would be nice too for a little bit better view. I like the idea of being right next to the Mistlands too, of course, because it just gives us access to that biome. It 
looks like the tar is fighting the the fuelings. Okay, yeah, let's avoid that mess for now. The only, uh, the main disadvantage, I should say, not the only, but the main disadvantage of being up on the hill is we're away from the water, so we just have a longer trek to go get to our ship. Didn't even see that guy coming until he was just right there. Kill this guy for some black metal here. Does he not even see me? I was going to say, how could you not see me, man? Let's not aggro that other lock for now. Or locks, rather. Let's see if we can cut through here without getting anybody's attention. It's a little bit of a a small bay here, but it would be... It's kind of small, uh, you know, for, like, maneuvering the longship in. We could do it, but... There's a nice little kind of crick running through some trees here so that's picturesque all right let's go back over this way there's just a little tiny black forest by them there Ground is kind of high right in this spot, but I don't think it's a problem in calm waters because I didn't. When I pulled in here, I didn't beach the ship. Oh, there's like three locks over there. Okay, so I mean, this is this is a fairly ideal spot. Is this like a... That must be like a shipwreck over there. I don't know if I can get to it without aggroing these guys, though. I think we'll be okay. It's just normal treasure. I guess we'll take it. One thing I don't need right now is more money. <laughs> I got plenty of it. Too bad I didn't have that problem in real life, huh? Okay. I'm kind of... Hmm. I'm kind of favoring the, the spot to the south there. Down in that little grove of trees. But I didn't look at it real closely for, you know, how well it would work for a harbor. So I'm going to run back over there and take another peek at it. Actually, why don't we sail over there? And let's go renew our rested bonus too. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to put our black metal in the hold here. I also created another, or not created, um, well, I guess I created it. <laughs> I built another longship and kept it at the original base, so that way we, we have one down there and one up here. You could say I created it, sure. The other thing I'd like to do while I'm here is change out my power because I'm not planning on doing any extensive sailing, so I'd rather get back to um, probably Bone Mass. Bone Mass or Eichler, those two are really good. So let's go do that first. Um, let's see, do I have... how many needle arrows can we make? Looks like We, okay, yeah, I guess we have more in storage. So let's make a stack of those. 
And when our obsidian arrows run out, we'll, re we'll use needle arrows as our normal arrows. I want to check my garden real quick. Oh, and it looks like I have more silver that I started smelting. Just trying to use up the rest of what I brought down from the mountain last time. I may end up taking a lot of this excess silver down to the community center for people just because I don't think you really need it much anymore after you finish the silver grind unlike iron which you do I think too I want to replant these onions as well before we take off again All right, we got a rested bonus back. Let's head back to the new location here. Got my gardening done. A couple other chores around the base there. So yeah, let's let us let us just leave this here until we know for certain where we're gonna go. But what I want to do is. Is there anybody else on the map besides me? Does not appear so. Um, it's just I was just looking to see because uh, then I thought we could sleep. Yeah, that high spot's kind of a pain, but nothing we couldn't work with if we did decide to use this as our harbor. But let's sail around to this other location. I want to take a look see at it and see how suitable it will be for the ship. I, I like it for the for the base itself. Uh, but I want to just see what it looks like for the ship. See, there's mist lens right across the water there, too. Yeah, that harbor's too small. Okay, so we got a little bit of a harbor here that we could get in and out of fairly easily. Um, or over here, but I, I, I kind of want to be down here in the grove of trees, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna cut all these trees down either. <clears throat> so we could build a nice little place in the trees and then have a oh shit wolves I'm going what is this you are being hunted business what you can't come in my boat that's hacks. <laughs> okay. So I think we have to stay in the area for that to eventually go away because otherwise it'll just stay there until we come back. Let's um let's take that stuff. I don't know if the wolves can drown or not. Probably not. When I first saw that you are being hunted, I thought it just meant that the mosquito was after me and I'm going, that's odd. I don't remember ever seeing that pop up with a mosquito chasing me. Should have swung this around a little sooner, but 
having a little bit of trouble seeing. I think those wolves are still around, so... I think we can take them now that we have full health and bone mass. Are they going to try and... I just can't see very well as a problem. Are they going to try and come back over here, or what? What's going on? What's the deal, yo? Maybe they did drown. Could have been uh, the fish I was seeing. I don't know. Okay, so. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to our new prairie base. My general plan is to build a home in, in this grove without destroying the trees because it's the trees that make the place awesome so this could be our harbor here and we'll build a dock out into the you know out into the water and then I'm thinking maybe we build our house right here and we just utilize you know this all of this space here Uh, oh, look at that log <laughs> walking through their bonfire. That's funny. Um, and this little area here. The only concern I have, though, is defenses in terms of preserving the trees. Like, for example, if and when, no, actually when, we get attacked by uh, trolls... They could knock the trees down. Of course, we could replant them though too. But what we might, what we might be able to do, is build a wall, starting from here, and just kind of build it across. Um, well, yeah, I'd, I'd want it to. I want to be going directly east. So we could build it across to maybe here-ish or so. Or maybe even a little further if we wanted to, I guess. And then cut and head to the south. And just kind of enclose this little grove in, more or less. That's probably what we'll do. And then we're, you know, then we have some protection from... From threats coming from the outside. And not worry about this ground here. We can raise that up and, you know, flatten all of that out. But yeah, I like that plan. I do like that plan. I just can't see a damn thing now because it's foggy as hell. Um, all right, so first order of business then is to get our portal over here. And I think I'm going to just sail back to it because since I can't see anything... Um, it'd be a little risky trying to go across land again, but I would like to put down a workbench so we can repair our ship because it took some damage from both the wolves and the terrain. So let's gather up 10 pieces of wood here from these little trees. All right, well, it's morning now, so that's good. Oh yeah, wow, they really damaged the ship. Most of that came from the wolves. Okay. So, yeah, let's go back uh, over and get our portal. And I'll probably just set it up here temporarily until we get the enclosure taken care of. And I, I want to get the wall built first before we really do anything else. Uh, you know, so we get that, that protection in place. I'd go back over land if the damn fog would just clear up. Um, look at the map here. We're, uh, our portal's right over here somewhere. Yeah, it's just, I, it's just too dangerous because I can't see it. I don't want to walk right into, like, say, the tar pit or the, um, 
you know, the thingy, uh, the Stonehenge thingy that has like two berserkers in the middle of it. That would not be good. Okay, well, let's just sail back over there then. Might have to push the end of the ship out. Yeah, but I like this spot. I think this is going to make a nice little planes base for us. All right, <clears throat> I got uh, distracted by IRL for a minute there. And I figured, well, why don't we just wait a little bit longer and see if the fog will clear. And in the meantime, we can start leveling some of this ground out. The um, thing is, though, is I don't really want to... I want to get rid of all of the grass. So... Probably, you know, at least kind of keep the front part grassless. I went a little too far here, unfortunately. I don't I don't know if there's any way to replace that. Um, I'd have to... Maybe there is. I'd have to look at the cultivator, but of course that's back to the other base. I don't care so much about back here, but I kind of wanted this, the front area anyways, to stay grassy. Yeah, maybe we can do that with the cultivator. I'll take a look, you know, when I get back to the base and see if that's the deal. Yeah, don't get too far over that way. Come on, fog. Jesus. You've been out long enough. Clear away. Burn off. Run away. I'm going to put the house up fairly high. Um, so, and it's going to cover this whole area. So I'm not really actually too worried about this being super level. But I mean, I want it reasonably level. What I might, <coughs> excuse me, end up doing for the farm is well, I guess it kind of just depends on how big I want to make the place. I'm basically thinking almost like a long house, you know, that goes all the way over to here, but then has another wing that goes back this direction. And then what we could do if we wanted to is we could go out in this area and plant just a big field of crops and then you know obviously I'd want to put a wall around that too because there's not a ton of room in this grove for both the house and um, and the crops you know this fog just does not want to let up does it okay Go a little further this way. I don't want to get too much closer to that village. I don't want to attract those guys' attention. So this will probably be at least for the nonce. Um, those guys fighting or not? I don't know. It seems like they are. But, you know, once we clear that village... You know, then we might expand a little further that direction, too. Okay, so I want to cut back this some more. I'm going to have to pick some of that because it's just too high otherwise. Okay, let's start with that. Um, I might, I may end up cutting a couple of these trees down like this one and maybe this one here and we can always replant them a little further out so we still have that, you know, grove feel. Good. Fog is finally gone. Okay. So let's head on back over and grab our portal. So I think this will be a nice little place for us. You know, we'll fix it up. Make it into a nice base and a place to grow, you know, plains crops. And it also puts us right next door to the mistlands. When the time comes for us to start doing mistland stuff. 
Let's go see if we can aggro these mosquitoes just to get their stingers for feather uh, for feathers for uh, arrows. Hey, look at that! We got a death mosquito trophy. Just what I always wanted. There's three loxes in that village. You know what? Let's actually go back through this and, and just... Oh, shit. Uh, refresh our rested. That should stay there. I've got 47 black metal down here. Uh, let's see. Where's the... Stone oven. Circling core. Artisan table. Here we go. That's the blast furnace. I guess... I guess what I'll do is I'll just smelt the black metal that I have down here, down here, and use it to make stuff. And not try and haul it up to the new location. We'll just get new black metal up there. That makes the most sense. So we need the artisan table to make that. The thing is, though, is... Hmm. I only have, well, actually, maybe we can make the artisan table, put down the black furnace, uh, not the black furnace, the blast furnace, and then pick this back up, because I'd like this to actually be at the new base, since we're going to need it for a lot of the stuff we're going to do in the planes. Right, okay, so... Let's just temporarily put the artisan table out here. Uh, where do I want to put the blast furnace? Let's just put it missing requirement. Oh, I'm not close enough to the dragon tears. Okay. I'm going to harvest uh, or pick up all of this stone or most of it and just take it with us over to build our stone wall in the new location. That thing's awesome. <laughs> I love it. So, let's grab as much stone as we can carry through the portal. Oh. And then rusted buff. That's the whole point. Re main reason why we came back in the first place. But there's always something to do, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like when I go to the office for work simulator. And I got, you know, stuff that I need to to physically do I don't want to sit down and open up email because as soon as I do I get sucked into the email vortex and then like the whole morning goes by before I even have a chance to do anything else but you know if you ignore email then that bites you in the ass too so just kind of sucks all the way around <laughs> uh, anyway um, yeah let's let's finish off these sausages and We'll take the wolf. Uh, no. <coughs> Goodness gracious, excuse me. Now we'll take the serpents too. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what else I wanted to do? Oh, no. Alright, now we're getting attacked by... I think it was Miss Land OG. Maybe it's OG Miss Land. Alright, let's go deal with these assholes. Actually, this is not a bad thing because we'll get some serpent cores, except for I gotta drop off some stone so I have the room for it.
God damn it. Stamina. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm taking a stamina flask because you guys are really pissing me off. They're squirrely motherfuckers. Where did that other asshole go? There he is. Gotcha. There's our new stuff. Black metal shield, tower shield, black metal something. I didn't catch what that third thing was. Let's grab um, another... Put that in there. Pots and pans and a black metal chest. Pots and pans is a cooking upgrade. So that'll be nice. Alright, it was a black metal missile. Um, so... I'm gonna say maybe we make that in the artisan table? Oh, it needs a roof. I can't even look inside of it. I'll bet you that's where we make it. It looked like it's maybe a spear or a harpoon kind of idea. It didn't really look like an arrow, and I don't see a black metal arrow option in here. You know, we could make this now. That's going to give us a block of 78 and a force of 50. Which is already better than our fully upgraded silver shield. Or, yeah, whatever that is, silver shield. Uh, we just need some fine wood. You know what, though? I don't actually have any extra fine wood. Um, how much did it say we needed? We need 10. Yeah, that's probably going to be worth going and grabbing right now. Just more protection for us, you know? Yeah, I'm going to just put this ex whoops, um, extra stone in here for the moment while we go cut some hardwood real quick. Or, actually, no, you know what we'll do? I did want to remove a couple of the trees in the grove, so let's go cut those trees. Uh, yeah, we're at... We're at 19 rested buff. Oh, right. I was in the middle of trying to do this. That was it. Okay. So, yeah, this is just a, a portal that I put down um, when I first found the Mislins. And it's not... It's not really very far away from our new location. Uh, we are... We're over here, and that's where the portal is. So, at some point, I'll probably just come over here and pick this up and you know since we don't really need one here and here uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now so at the time I put that portal down I didn't know that there was you know we were gonna go to this new location at that point so let's go through here I was going to also look at my cultivator to see if we can replant grass. Uh, oh, right. We had never... <laughs> we forgot to... Or I forgot to, rather, take this down. Um, do I have enough weight? 447 to carry all this? Well, here. Let's just throw one pile of stone out. Pick that up too. Need to remember that we no longer have a portal down, so we gotta be really careful. Let's not take any chances, actually. I'm not worried about one mosquito, but. I just have to be cognizant that we can no longer be careless either. All right. So this is just our our uh, temporary portal location until we actually get our building going. But I want to keep it, you know, out as far away from there as possible to keep it away from enemies. Can we build it right here? Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous. 
Okay, so this is North OG Base. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. I guess it gets completely submerged when the waves really come in. I don't think that's a problem. That was funny. I thought it was funny. I don't know if you guys thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Right, do we need to repair that at all? Nope, that's good. Excellent. Okay, so we have our... Our uh, portal in place. Um, now, let's cut this tree down. No, don't knock any more trees down. Thank you. Oh, that got their attention. Shit. Um, okay. Time to go. We might... We may have to eliminate those guys first before we do this, because I did... Oh, item. This. Okay, GTFO, quick. <laughs> I'm not ready to fight them. Um... Yeah, I mean, if they can hear that from that far away, then we, we can't safely build until we deal with them. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to be the task for the next episode, because we are out of time in this episode. So, yeah, the plan for the next episode will be to just keep working on our new prairie base. Uh, the first thing to do, of course, is get a wall built around it. Well, actually, no, the second thing to do is get a wall built around it. The first thing to do is get rid of those... Uh, fuelings, uh, because they're obviously going to be a problem for us. Um, let's do, though, before I let you go, make um, our new shield here. Black metal shield. And let's style this one this time. I always forget to do that. Uh, let's go with... I kind of like that blue and yellow. Yeah, let's see. Let's do that. Okay. And, um, can we upgrade it? No, we don't have enough stuff to upgrade it yet. That's fine, though. Even unupgraded, it's better than our fully upgraded silver shield, so. There it is. Awesome. <laughs> I like the chains on it, man. That's cool looking. Very cool. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode where we'll kick the shit out of some fuelings and get started on our prairie base. Bye-bye.